finally let's look at our motto the first thing is if you just start up our studio you'll probably find the screen doesn't look like this here what I've got here on the top though is what's called the coding if you like the, or the, the R uh, scripting so if I go here to a file and open a new file I can open an R script what this means is instead of typing everything in the console over here I can type them in here so I can say for example here I would have typed in the command I have typed in here for example I can type this in this script window the important thing with scripting is that scripting allows me to save my code and reuse that or modify it so here is my script if you like I've got so far these commands over here so I can modify this fairly easily for example if I was to put in my model over here there's my model where is it there and I type something in wrong like I forget the E in there if I then try and fit this model it won't run but it's simple I just go back here put in the X and I can now run this model and the way the model runs is it's control I select this particular line put the cursor on the line and control enter runs the code straight away or of course you can use the run over here to run the code and I can save this code because I might come back later and extend this code do other things with this code or in fact simply this take this code modify this for some other analysis some other context and that's how most of us work most of us hardly ever write down code from scratch we're able to copy and paste code we've used before somewhere else modify code as we go through here and make a lot easy so this is something we can do and then at the end of this all I can go here and save this and that makes my life easy I'll, I'll get rid of this one I'll remove this now I won't save this for the moment what I've got here is an R markdown file so R markdown allows me to be able to produce documents in real time in one sense the way it works is the syntax in the top here must be exactly as I've got here three dashes over here three dashes over here to put in the top part or the the front end or the, or the title if you like I've got title here I've got author I've got date the output there must be a new line here PDF document figure caption yes document class article exactly as it is then the next three lines are also exactly as I've got here so I've got our setup here include equals false all these kinds of things here figure line center library book down so you'll be able to find information on R Markdown online as well and you can use it by all means do, the, do so but you can simply copy and paste this particular code and use this, excuse me, so I've got here R Markdown this must be the same this is an R Markdown document I've got information there here is the R commands I can use so the idea here is I can actually use R commands in this data so you can see how that works I've got three of these uh, apostrophes R commands and three more apostrophes the double hash here gives me a section in my document double hash here include plus gives me sections as well here I'm plotting this in my file if I run this it plots this straight away and then close this in my document the advantage of this is that instead of doing the R analysis separately and for example copying and pasting the results into a word document or some other document I can produce the output from R and the analysis straight away and that makes it so much easier I can also type in mathematics here so if you know LaTeX or if you haven't heard of LaTeX it doesn't really matter you can search for things in LaTeX I went back an equation and equation this is how LaTeX works but it's very easy because you don't require to know LaTeX you can just look up these things and say I want LaTeX equation you can just go into, into the internet copy and paste things and you can learn very fast by doing those kinds of things here it won't take very, very long it makes life a lot easier to produce documents because one of the basic things we'll be doing all the time as data analyst or statistician is producing documents for others and in fact if you can do it this way you have a record of what you've done if you go back and change things, modify things, or now what did I do over here, the whole thing is in the document straight away. Especially when you write documents, you often want to change analysis or change graphs and figures. It's a pain to go back into R, change the graph and figure, 
copy and paste that into something else. All you need to do here is modify the command or the R uh, commands you have in this particular file itself, run that and you get the plot straight away as you have it. To run this is simple, all you go is you'll find this knit over here and you go on that and select either to HTML or PDF or Word. I would advise PDF because that is the almost one of the best kinds of outputs you can get here. So then off it goes, it does all this stuff, <coughs> runs all the code, and then will produce for you, if all goes well, a PDF document. Something wrong here, I've got something wrong with my file over here. Oh, that's because I've got my file open here, that's why. So I'll close that here, and I'll run this again. And these are our, the, your PDF document. Now, I don't have to watch it over here. I can remove this and just open up my normal PDF, which I'll do. So here's my PDF from... Uh, that particular R markdown file. So there is my lecture notes and it says here title, name and date, R markdown. If I go back to the R markdown you'll find that is my first section, R markdown, major section. <coughs> it plots. There's my equation, labeled equation. <coughs> I've got here plot pressure and there's my plot and I've got a caption here as well if I go back to my R markdown file I've got in my plot here I've got there's my caption I've got a label here pressure so I can refer to that as pressure as, as a label sorry here so this is figure 1 shows if I go back to my R file here <coughs> there's my label is pressure so it says here I think a cap option allows it says figure reference pressure there's my label pressure that I'm using over here label pressure so it can refer to this by name in that sense there's my equation I typed in earlier sum from i equals 1 to n of i is n times n plus 1 over 2 there's the equation there so it's the sum this is the lower part, if you like, the subscript, and this is the upper part, and this is the thing I'm summing over here, frac, the denominator, numerator and denominator here, I will label here some equation, and I can refer to that by equation number later on here. <coughs> you can see how easy this makes my life here. Here is a linear model, I've got summary of orange, so here was my summary of orange. Orange is a default data file in R. I have fitted the linear model. I've got the summary of the output. I've plotted here the syllables versus fitted values. All those things appear here directly. Really simple to produce the documentary here. So I really advise you very strongly to, to start using this. You'll get some things wrong. It doesn't really matter. You can ask in the lab. You can look up online. But if you simply take this particular R file, I've got here the R commander file. Now, now this is saved as .rmd, .rmd file. And if I was to open a normal, what's called R, R script here, that will be saved as a .r file by default. So .r file, .rmd file. Later, I'll probably show you some other kinds of files as well here. But you can simply take and copy and paste this one here, use my particular file, and start working on that. It will make your life very much simple. You don't need to do this until your first assignment that's due in week 5 here, but I advise practicing this straight away so you're ready for your particular assignment when it's due. I think that's enough for this week. Thank you so much. We'll see you in lectures in week 2. Bye.